Hey guys, welcome back to Shotgun Nation. Today we're going to be talking about the 12 gauge double lot buckshot shells that Black Aces Tactical is bringing in. That's right, not only shotguns uh, are they bringing in their lever actions and bull pups and a lot of other cool magazine fed and non-NFA items that they have on their menu. Uh, but yes, they've added some double up buckshot. And just in time for all the uh, the COVID panic buying that's going on, I found mine at AtlanticFirearms.com. Uh, if you're interested in this, uh, keep an eye out on their website uh, because they do stock it from time to time when you can find it. Um, and I know that there's more coming in or else I wouldn't be here telling you what I thought about it. There wouldn't be any point in this video. But I am very interested in shooting it. Um, it is a nice looking shell. Get this up here. Nice looking shell. If it shoots as well as it looks, we ought to be in good shape. Um, but just checking out the box here, it is 12 gauge, 1425 feet per second. Guys, I brought out the chronograph today. We're going to be testing that number and seeing if that's consistent amongst their ammunition through a few boxes. Um, as you can see, it's one and one fifth ounce of double op buckshot. And it also says it's two and three quarter. Um, that's the first point that we're going to talk about today because when comparing the shells with a Fiocchi. You can see there is a considerable dif uh, considerable difference there uh, between those two. Now, what the real concern is, how long is, this, is the shell after it's been shot, once the crimp is opened up, uh, because that defines whether or not it is safe. So, we're going to be testing that out today. After we shoot one of these, we're going to see how long it is compared to a, a shot um, Fiocchi shell here. And on top of that, we're going to be patterning the 12-gauge double-op buckshot uh, using the Black Aces Tactical Lever Action. Um, it does come with a choke system, so we're going to be trying out a few different distances with a few different chokes and seeing how that performs. So hopefully we're going to be answering a lot of questions for you guys today. I had, I had some concerns uh, in my group that um, because of the link, it may not fit in some magazines. Guys, I have a barrage of shotgun uh, magazines out here today. Pro Mag, MD Arms, uh, the uh, 590M magazine, some from SDS, Kalashnikov, SGM, some Turkish mags, lots of lots of uh, magazines to try out uh, the different shells in today um, and give you that comparison. So you'll know what you're ready for. Uh, my speculation is if it's a, a magazine set up for three inch shells, this will work just fine. Um, but I do wonder about some of those drum magazines and those other two and three inch quarter only uh, mags that we have. So stick around. We're going to tell you all about it. Oh, I went ahead and loaded up the SGM. This is their Mark 1919. Uh, I also find these at Atlantic Firearms. Uh, holds a good 20 rounds. Um, I believe it's only 20. Let me double check the package. Yeah, it's a 20 round drum right there. Um, the shell's loaded up in that just fine. So they do fit in that. that that's, a, uh, that's a good point of interest there. Um, so let's try out some other stuff. Here's the MD20 drum magazine. Make sure we got it on camera here. Um, and so after you get a couple of them in, you start having to really press down and what's going on is that that shell is too long and it is pressing up against the front side uh, right there. So the MD-20 drum magazine is probably going to be a no-go uh, for this type of ammunition. So let's check out the Pro Mag. This one is the Pro Mag 20 rounder. Uh, it too is going to bottom out in the front. So you won't be able to use the Pro Mag 20 round drum with these as well. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. We got the this is the 590M magazine from the Mossberg. Um, also a two and three inch quarter, two and three quarter inch shell magazine. Um, it's going to do the same thing there. Also, it's going to bottom out in the front. So if you are expecting to use those types of magazines, um, I would reconsider the type of ammunition you're going to use. Now. What does it work in? Guys, it works in a lot of other stuff. Um, the SDS magazines that are made for two and three inch quarter, uh, two and three quarter to three inch shells. Um, they also load very well in the 1919 style magazines with no issue whatsoever. So if you're using a shotgun that uses the 1919 style Turkish magazine, that's gonna work out just fine as well. Um, also, we've got the SGM. 12 gauge magazines, they work just fine, load up just fine, and they seem to cycle in and out of them just fine. And also, lastly, the uh, Kalashnikov USA 12 gauge um, magazine works very well as well. So just a couple of uh, you know particular special types of magazines out there that you might want to pay attention to uh, when, when deciding if you're going to buy this ammunition or not. Uh, but with these drum magazines, that's going to cause you some issues, um, unless you go with the SGM 1919 style mag um, that I like again I found at Atlantic Firearms so 
that that will work out just fine if you have that. All right, so now I'm going to get the chronograph set up. We're going to shoot a few rounds and see if the uh, feet per second is uh, the, consistent with what it says in the box there. Again, it's supposed to be 1,425 feet per second, screaming hot rounds. So uh, let's let's set that up and see how it goes. All right, guys, so we've got this fully loaded up with the uh, Black Aces 12 gauge uh, ammunition. Now, on the website, this is a 6 plus 1 capacity uh, lever action, but with the Black Aces tactical ammunition, I'm only able to get 5 in the tube. So, this is a 5 plus 1 with the uh, Black Aces tactical double out buckshot. We've got the chronograph set up. Let's see how consistent the uh, 1425 feet per second uh, boasting on the boxes. It says 1335. Thirteen eighty five, thirteen eighty three, thirteen thirty one. That was fourteen hundred. Thirteen sixty six. Thirteen eighty. Well, I've got you here. I told you I would compare the uh, the shot casings of both uh, the Black Aces and the Fiocchi, and you'll see that they are both the uh, exact same length after fired. So shouldn't shouldn't bother you if you have a two and three quarter inch chamber it's just those those magazines that you're gonna have to watch out for all right well let's hang up some silhouettes and pattern this thing at a few different distances let's go check that out all right so as you can see we have center mass uh here's the uh wad right here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine pellets all in a very very small area here let me get the measuring tool out yeah, it's about a five inch spread there. Let's back so it up to 20 yards and uh, see what we think about that. Let's go check that one out. All right, so at 20 yards, we got the wad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me see if I missed a count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly a nine through that one right there. We've got about, say, a foot. We've got about a foot between every single one of these pellets here. So All right, let's go check that out. Got about an eight and a half inch spread there, it looks like. That one's about six that way, but we got about nine inches across right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wad. Let's move out to 20 yards and see how that looks. Go check it out. All right, guys, there it is. Uh, definitely lots of body hits. Got one in the throat, one off over here in Neverland. Got about a 15-inch spread there, it looks like, 16-inch, 15-inch spread. Uh, take two more shots at the two same ranges, and uh, that'll be it for the comparison on that. Let's go check it out. It's pretty tight, about a 4-inch about a spread there. Widest I can find. Four inch. Yep, got about a four inch spread there. All right, well, let's back it up to 20 yards. All right, here we go, 20 yards. All right, guys, looks like about a 12 inch spread right here.
Covered that target pretty well, actually. All right, guys, well, that's it for the 12 gauge double lot buckshot for Black Ace's tactical. Performed very well, in my opinion. The uh, patterning was nice and everything. Uh, the only downfall is I can't put it in my drum mags. Um, I'm partial to my drum mags. I know some of you guys don't ever want to touch those. Uh, but speaking of which, um, I don't believe in doing a buckshot review without some destruction. Um, and to do so, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up on the uh, future reviews here. Get the Black Aces Tactical Bullpup Semi-Auto Shotgun right here. Do have a drum magazine loaded up full of their proprietary 12 gauge ammunition. Um, I have not ran this with the drum yet. Um, let's just see how it goes. 20 rounds, double lot buckshot. Let's see how much damage we can cause to this piece of wood over here.